The table of contents include basics of chemistry, which is unit one, unit two, all about matter, unit three, atomic theory and electron configuration, unit four, elements and the periodic table, unit five, bonding and VSEPR theory, unit six, chemical compounds, unit seven, chemical reactions and calculations, unit eight, gases, unit nine, solutions and solubility, unit 10, acids and bases, unit 11, chemical compounds, and unit 12, thermodynamics. Each book has units and under each unit are the chapters. And at the end of each chapter, you have a check your knowledge. And on the back of the check your knowledge is the check your answers. In order to have chemistry, you have to have had algebra one, at least algebra one. And that is because of the math that you will have in chemistry. And let me get over to that page really quick. So this is an example of the math that you will have in chemistry. So there will be measurement. And this is an example of the type of problems you will have. They have done a great job, again, with the graphics and the examples and explanations. This book would definitely pair well with any science or chemistry curriculum you may have. So I think it's one that is great to be on the shelf. If your students are college bound, Chemistry is one that they have to have. I do have a video on how I taught high school chemistry. And if you are interested in that, I will share that down below. Chemistry can be a bit intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. You have to think outside the box if this is not something that you want to teach or you don't like to teach. Here are more examples of the types of math that you will find in chemistry. Now, can you teach chemistry without teaching the math? Yes. I did that with my son. He at the time was doing Life of Fred and I believe that it was a lot of math already. And since I knew that he wasn't going to be a chemistry chemist a chemist <laughs> um, I didn't really go off into the into a lot of the math but they do a good job in explaining the math along with explanations and so forth 
There are many chemistry videos on YouTube. You can just do a YouTube search. And I will share my favorite YouTube videos when it comes to chemistry. And I will actually go ahead and put together a list of those videos that will help with this book or with any chemistry that you have decided to use. But all in all, they have done a great job at taking something that is really a difficult subject to teach and making it um, very understandable. This was not around when I was homeschooling my children, of course, and even not around um, with that last one that graduated last year. But it will be on my shelf. Okay, so we have come to the end of the chemistry. Thank you so very much for watching. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, forget to share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.